Hello friends, we are with the second lecture on the white tiger. The topic of our discussion is characters and characterization in the white tiger. We have a list of characters and classified them under various categories like main characters, Balam Halwai, Ashok Sharma, Pinky Madam are the main characters. We have the family members of Balram in Vikram, Kishan, Granny Kusum and Dharam. We have some landlords with these nicknames, the Stark, the Wild Boar, the Buffalo, the Raven, the Mongoose who is identified as Mukesh Sir. We also have some teachers for the main character that we have in the novel that is Balram. There are some teachers like Krishna, the driving instructor, uh, Vitiligo Lips, the booksellers. We even have the school inspector who identifies the talent of Balram. Then we have some political characters like Vijay who started off as a bus conductor then became a political leader. The main political leader that we have in the novel is the great socialist. Then we also have some characters from the administration, we call them bureaucratic characters. One of them is uh, Mukeshan, another is called uh, Ramanathan. Ramanathan is identified as a fixer. We also have an IPS officer in the form of the assistant commissioner. We can also identify the city as characters in this novel. We start from Dunbad, then go to Delhi. We also see Gurgwan and then we come to Bangalore via Hyderabad. If time permits, we will discuss the cities, otherwise we will look at the human characters that we have in the novel. What are our objectives? To study the main characters of Balram Halwai, Ashok Sharma and Pinky Madam in Aravind Adiga's novel, The White Tiger. To examine the characters from Balram's family as well, his father, his brother, his grandmother and his cousin. Then to understand the landlord's role in the land of darkness, we have to remember that there are two major ideas, one is the land of darkness, another is the land of light. So two Indias, rich and poor Indias are contrasted in the novel. Then to explore the political and bureaucratic characters in the novel, some kind of corruption is indicated through these characters. Next, to analyze the contribution of the school teacher, the school inspector, the driving instructor and the booksellers to the making of the character called Balram Halwai. And finally, we will discuss the importance of the city as teachers for Balram Halwai. City actually teaches Balram to learn about life and plan for his future. Here we have a classification of all characters. We have a picture of Balram Halwai in the middle and Ashok Sharma and uh, Pinky Madam. This is actually a picture of the film that we mentioned in the first lecture. Balram Halwai is a protagonist of the novel. Then we have Ashok Sharma, his master. Then Pinky Madam is the mistress for Balram. Then we have the family member that is the father of Balram, Vikram Halwai. And then we have the school teacher Krishna, then a school inspector visits the school and identifies the talent of Balram and calls him the white tiger. We have the driving instructor who teaches Balram how to drive and become a taxi driver. Then when Balram goes to Delhi, he has a friend in the form of Vitiligo Lips, his name is not given and he is a kind and supportive uh, friend for Balram in Delhi. Then we have two booksellers who also teach something to Balram. Then we have Dharam, a cousin of uh, Balram Halwai who comes to Delhi in search of Balram so that he can also get a job and send money back to his house. A very important character in the novel is Mr. Ven Giabo. He does not appear as a character but the whole novel is written as a letter, as a mail to Mr. Wayne Giabo, the Chinese premier who visited India in 2005. We have uh, some characters from the land of dark like the Stark, the Mongoose, the Wild Boar, the Buffalo, the Raven. These are characters who actually have association with Lakshman Gar, that is a place from which Balram Halwai hails. 
then we have the family members of Balram Halwai like Granny Kusum Kishan his brother Vijay the bus conductor then we also have the great socialist a local uh, leader uh, and then he becomes a national leader at the end of the novel. We have some bureaucratic characters like uh, Ramanathan and Mukeshan plus we also have a police officer in the form of an assistant commissioner in Bangalore. Let us see the protagonist Balram Halwai. We have four slides. So, we have indicated four along with the name of Balram. The protagonist and the anti-hero of the novel is Balram Halwai. He is not a major character like what we have in other novels. He is also called the anti-hero because he is something like a picaresque character. There is an element of roguishness in him. He does not follow uh, a kind of uh, ethical path he involves in murder and looting. So, uh, he is called an anti-hero. But we have to understand that he calls himself a thinking man, a listening man and an entrepreneur. From a poor village Lakshman Gar in Bihar, he comes to Bangalore and sets up his own business of taxi service for IT companies. That is how he becomes an entrepreneur. He writes his novel as a kind of training manual for entrepreneurs, how to become entrepreneurs. In Bangalore, he lives in the world center of technology and outsourcing. Because of the context when Chinese premier was visiting India, he considers Balram considers himself as one of the Chinese kind. He does not use swear words or curse words. He becomes a man of action and change. Some kind of change has been brought about in him in his entrepreneurial enterprise. He is an admirer of the ancient nation of China. He offers to tell Mr. Wen Jiabo about how a country like India is growing, particularly about Bangalore. He wants to tell the story of Bangalore free of charge to Wen Jiabo by telling his own story. He regards himself something like this. I am tomorrow in contrast to the Americans who are yesterday. So, China, India, America, these are the three countries contrasted in this context. Balram never finished school, but he became a self taught entrepreneur. He listened, he listened to people, and that is how he became an entrepreneur. First, he became a driver, then, he became an entrepreneur in Bangalore. He works very hard, staying up the whole night looking after his outsourcing business. Balram is straight and crooked that means he is a contradictory person mocking and believing sly and sincere at the same time some kind of self contradiction we can see in Balram Halwai. He considers himself a half baked man who was not allowed to complete his schooling by his grandmother. He offers to tell the autobiography of the half baked Indian. Many children who go to school do not complete school in India and that is why they are half baked people. And so, a yeah, person like Balram Halwai calls himself a yeah, half baked Indian which is also identified by Ashok Sharma his master. Even his own name Balram was given by his teacher Krishna. His original name as he was called at home is Munna. Munna means any general name for sweet. But Krishna the teacher gives him the name Balram. His own name is Krishna. So, he offers to give Balram to Munna. Balram Halwai hails from Lakshmangar and India of darkness. He is the grandson of Kusum the granny. He lost his mother and also father at a very young age. That means, he is cut off from the family relationships. He is pulled out of his school by granny Kusum to pay off the debt for a dowry that they had to give to a girl in their house. Balram loves animals, but in his school he finds a lizard and he shows his fear of this lizard and so his father had to come to school to kill this lizard. He dreams of a cocky uniform, a paycheck and a whistle like Vijay the bus conductor. That was the biggest job for Balram Halwai. He wanted to become free like the bus conductor Vijay, but Vijay from bus conductor moves on to become a politician. Now, we see Balram Halwai with more details about his schooling. 
he is identified by the school inspector as a white tiger and so the school inspector offers him a scholarship to study further but then he is not allowed to continue his studies. The school inspector found him to be an intelligent, honest, vivacious fellow in the crowd of thugs. Ironically, when he gets his scholarship, he is pulled out of school to break coal in the local tea shop. Balram says he can turn bad news into good news. Though he was not allowed to continue his schooling, he later became an entrepreneur by his own effort, first by listening and then learning skills and then making use of the opportunities that were available to him. Balram can handle any kind of crisis, that is what we see in the novel. He is a man wanted by the police for killing his own master Ashok and escaping with the money of his master. Now we get a very beautiful idea from this novel. He could see beauty and so he is not destined to be a slave forever. Beauty and slavery do not go together. When a man can see beauty, he can escape from his slavery. This boy, poor boy, Balram Halwai from Lakshman Gar saw beauty and learnt about beauty and so he broke away from his slavery. Balram saw the view of Lakshman Gar from the black fort and spat on it and later killed Ashok. He finds violence as a means to his freedom. This is where we have the ethical question of a character killing his own master to become a master and that to adopt his own master's name Ashok Sharma. At the end of the novel, we find that he calls himself Ashok Sharma. Now, we come to the last slide on Balram Halwai. Halwai calls himself a midnight educator on matters entrepreneurial because during the midnight, he watches for his uh, drivers to come and looks after his business. At that time, he writes his mail. He is a loyal servant to Ashok who is the antagonist of the novel. Ashok is killed by Balram Halwai. Balram Halwa is not exactly an original thinker, but an original listener. Listening goes with thinking, but he talks about himself as not an original thinker, but an original listener. He moves to Dhanbad from Lakshmangar, does his job with a dishonesty and insincerity. When he is breaking coal, working in the tea shop, he is not doing his job honestly. He is looking for some opportunities from the people who visit that tea shop. He is a big believer in education. Many people, many philosophers, political leaders, educationists have always said that education is a means of empowerment and Balram Halwai also believed in this and he educated himself, trained himself to become something better than what he was. He listens to minors talking about drivers and learns driving in Dhanbad. He gets the job of a driver at Ashok's family in Dhanbad. Even though he did not have any experience of driving other than learning driving, he says he had some two years of driving experience and things like that. Later on, he becomes a murderer. He is identified as a freak, a pervert of nature. However, he calls himself a social entrepreneur and that he becomes by eavesdropping on people what they say and he listens to the city payments. He walks in the cities in Delhi, in Bangalore and learns about how the city behaves. He is a cold blooded monster that is how the novelist describes him in the novel and also he is called a man who sees tomorrow. What will happen tomorrow he understands and moves towards the future. This is how we find the protagonist of the novel the white tiger in Balram Halwai. Let us look at Ashok Sharma, the antagonist of the novel. He is the son of the Stark and the brother of Mukesh Sir. They are the landlords in Lakshmangar and also in Dhanbad. He is the husband of Pinky Madam who is a Christian lady from the US. He was born in Lakshmangar but raised in Dhanbad and later educated in the US. He returned to India with Pinky Madam for a short period, but is forced to move to Gurgaon, Delhi to look after the business of his father. Ashok resembles his father in physics, but he does not have the cunning of a master. Mukesh has his cunningness, whereas Ashok does not have it. Ashok calls Balram a half-baked Indian and considers the parliamentary democracy we have in India a fashad, something a fraud. Ashok trusts Balram completely 
and does not discover his deception till the end. That's why he is killed. Ashok visits Lakshmangar with Pinky Madam to his place of birth and uh, he is impressed by the behavior of Balram as a religious uh, person. Whenever he sees some kind of statue or even a tree, he worships or he shows some sign of devotion and so he impresses both Pinky and Ashok. Now, we see something more about Ashok here. Ashok looks after his a tax evasion case with ministers and bureaucrats by bribing them in Delhi. This is a key action that takes place in the novel. He agrees to the idea of sending Balram to jail if needed to save uh, Pinky Madam who caused an accident. In Delhi on one day, Pinky Madam wants to drive the car against the suggestion of uh, Balram Halwai and in her drunken mood, she kills a small child and so she may face some arrest. So, instead of sending Pinky Madam to jail, Ashok thinks of using Balram as a scapegoat. Ashok develops differences with his wife which ends in her leaving him for the US. During that separation period, Ashok is taken care of by Balram. Ashok feels for Balram the, for the kind of sufferings that he has, the kind of living quarters that uh, Balram has. So, he treats him well. He is disgusted with the wrong rich way of life and yearns for the right poor way of life. Once uh, he goes along with Balram Halwai to an ordinary hotel to eat food and he enjoys that food. He gets corrupted by Ramanathan the fixer. He reconnects with Uma, his former lover in Delhi and he agrees to replace Balram on Uma's suggestion. Uma says Balram is not to be trusted and so Ashok is planning to replace Balram but Balram is very careful, he forces his end and so he kills his master. Ashok is considered a lamb and finally killed by Balram the tiger. So, the tiger and lamb a contrast we have in the novel in the case of the protagonist and the antagonist. The protagonist is the tiger and the antagonist is a lamb. Pinky Madam also plays a very important role in the novel. She is the American wife and a Christian lady of Ashok Sharma. She is unable to adapt herself to the Indian situation, particularly to the corrupt situation. She often urges Ashok to return to the US which usually ends in quarrel between Ashok and Pinky. Ashok is hated by a Pinky for getting into the political corruption in Delhi. She dresses scantily and sometimes disturbs Balram's eyes. Uh, Pinky teaches Balram some English some words like mall and pizza actually both Ashok and Pinky try to teach Balram and some etiquette as well. She awakens Balram from his bad habits of chewing pan. She does not like his red teeth. Uh, she also does not like his scratching the groins. So, when Pinky cautions him, when Pinky awakens him to his good habits, Balram becomes a good man with good habits. Pinky gives Balram 4700 rupees before leaving India which he misuses for a girl. Pinky ruins Ashok by her sudden separation. That is why uh, she plays a critical role in the novel. She disturbs and destroys Ashok and the final destruction and death happens due to Balram. Vikram Halwa is the father of our protagonist. Balram Halwai. Balram's father is a rickshaw puller with some dignity. He died of tuberculosis at the hospital without a doctor. Balram's father killed the lizard on the school wall and gave courage to his son to attend the school. He guided his son to become a somebody in life. So, we have some quotations here. Balram says, my father was a poor man, but he was a man of honor and courage. Rickshaw puller he may have been a human beast of burden, but my father was a man with a plan. What is that plan? Here we have in the words of his father. My whole life I have been treated like a donkey. All I want is that one son of mine, at least one should live like a man. This was a dream of Vikram Halwai to see that one of his sons at least would live like a man, not like a beast. Kishan Halwai is a elder brother of Balram Halwai. He is unable to continue his studies because he had to help his family. He works as a coal breaker in a tea shop 
in Lakshman Gar in the beginning and later he works in Dhanbad also. It is the elder brother Kishan who helps Balram to learn driving from an old man in Dhanbad. At the time, Granny Kusum did not allow Balram to learn driving. It was uh, his brother Kishan who helped him to get permission from his granny. Kishan plays the role of a father to Balram in the absence of their father. Kishan marries very early and becomes very thin doing hard work, working for the family as a, a beast and he becomes very thin. Kishan meets Balram every month in Dhanbad to collect money and hand it over to Granny Kusum. Unlike Balram, Kishan submits meekly to his Granny Kusum, whereas Balram defies her, he rebels against her. Granny Kusum is again a very important character for us. She is the mother of Vikram Halwai and grandmother of Kishan and Balram. She is a very authoritative woman of the house. She controls everything. She prevents children of the house from completing school. She gets boys and girls married early. She is reluctant to allow Balram to learn driving for rupees 300. If he would get some kind of independence, she would not be able to control him. She gets a promise that he would send all money back home. Only then uh, she allows him to learn driving. She tries to bring Balram to her way of thinking, but shocked by his blatant refusal. He does not want to listen to Granny Kusum. She sends letters to Balram through the landlord as a way of um, blackmailing or manipulating Balram. She signs the affidavit to send Balram to jail for the sake of the masters. She takes the responsibility of uh, signing as a witness. She finally, when nothing works, she sends Dharam, Balram's cousin to Delhi personally so that Balram could be controlled in some way or the other. Now we come to the landlords. We have many landlords. We start with the Stark. His name is given as Takur Ramdev. He is a landlord in Lakshman Garg and he is the father of Ashok and Mukesh. He is a fat man with a fat moustache. He owns a river around the village and he takes a cut for every catch of fish from every fisherman. He receives a toll from boatmen crossing the river. He also gives loans to families, different families including Balram's family for wedding or other occasions. He generally lives in Dunbad to do business in connivance with politicians. There is a kind of nexus between politicians and business people. The Stark visits Delhi to look into the accident case caused by Pinky Madam. When he visits Delhi, he gets a treatment from Max Hospital, one of the best hospitals in Delhi for an ordinary headache, whereas Balram's own father could not be treated for tuberculosis and so he had to die. This kind of contrast we can see in the case of Balram's father and Ashok's father. Next we see Ashok's brother. He is the elder brother. The mongoose Mukesh sir is the elder brother of Ashok. He is often called the mongoose. He is small, dark, ugly and very shrewd in business matters. He inherited his father's mind and does not trust servants unlike Ashok. Ashok feels sympathy for the servants. The mongoose is married and has two sons. He does not know the village ways but has a cunning of a landlord. That cunningness is necessary to control servants. He is very strict about the master servant role and relationship. The master must behave like a master and the servant must behave like a servant and the roles should not be changed. For example, Ashok wants to drive the car sometimes, but Mukesh would not allow that. Mukesh wants Ashok to behave like a master and instructs Balram about using the car properly in Delhi. Just because the master is away, Balram should not misuse the car. That is how Mukesh wants Balram. Mukesh visits Delhi often to meet Ashok and politicians to sort out the problems of the tax evasion case. He is irritated by Balram losing his ways on Delhi roads. The next character we have is the wild boar. He is the uncle of Ashok and Mukesh and the brother of the Stark. The wild boar owns all agricultural lands in Lakshman Gar and he forces all workers to bow to his feet. He swindles the daily wages of workers. 
He also sports tusk like sharp teeth. He reveals the stock's love of chandelier. We have highlighted chandelier because later uh, Balram Halwai would also love to sit under chandelier in his office in Bangalore. The wild boar joins Ashok and Pinky Madam when they come to Lakshman Gar in their lunch. He reminds Ashok that he is a landlord and not a Brahmin because Ashok does not want to have non veg at the time of the lunch. We have another character called the Raven. He owns the dry land and rocky hillside of Lakshman Gar. He takes a cut from the goat herds. He resorts to sexual abuse of people who cannot pay him any money. Another character that we have in the uh, novel is a buffalo. He is also a landlord in Lakshman Gar, but he is the greediest of all landlords. He is a stout man with a bald brown and dimpled head. He sports a serene expression on his face. Always he has a shotgun on his lap. He extracts one third of all earnings from the rickshaw pullers and road users. Once he tortured his servant and shot him dead for allowing Naxals to kidnap one of his sons. Later he destroyed his servant's entire family and set the servant's house on fire too. That is how he could be so dangerous. Unlike these landlords, we have two workers here, Ram Bahadur and Ram Prasad. These two work for the Stark in Dhanbad. Ram Bahadur is a Nepali watchman at the Stark's house in Dhanbad. He appears to be a deceitful character. We have a very distinct uh, information about him. Ram Bahadur wants to have rupees 5000 from Balram to send Balram to Delhi as a driver because there is another driver the conflict between Ram Prasad and Balram Halwai is there. So, he wants to use his opportunity earn some money deceitfully from Balram. Ram Prasad is the number one driver at the star's house in that bath. He takes care of the Honda city car and plays badminton with Pinky Madam whenever she wants to. He does not even speak with Balram and maintains some kind of secrecy and also distance. Ram Prasad is actually a Muslim man but adopted a Hindu name and identity for the sake of job. When Balram discovered his true identity, Ram Prasad leaves the Stark's family suddenly. Now we come to Krishna, the school teacher of Balram. Krishna is surprised that no one had given a proper name to Munna that is Balram. So, the teacher gives the name Balram. He is called the sidekick of Krishna, which is also the name of the teacher. The teacher is presented as a man who is chewing pan, spitting pan all the time. He is a man who sleeps in the school at noon time. He spoils the walls of the school with his spitting. He also swindles the free food of children given by the government. Further, he steals the school uniform meant for children. He sells them and makes money for himself and justifies his unethical actions as he is not paid his salary by the government regularly. He apologizes to the school inspector for the poor upkeep of the school. We have a very interesting glimpse of the school inspector. He appears very briefly, but then he plays a very important role in the life of Balram Halwai. It is a school inspector who calls him the white tiger. He is a man in blue safari suit with a cane in his hand. He makes a surprise inspection of Balram school. He reprimands the teacher for the holes and discolorations on the walls as well as the absence of a duster and uniforms in the classroom. He writes four sentences on the board and checks students learning. Nobody is able to answer the questions. He asks Balram to read and then asks him questions which are answered by Balram very well. The inspector also asks Balram to identify a photograph by showing it to him. The inspector calls Balram the white tiger that comes along only once in a generation. The inspector offers a scholarship to Balram and gives him a book. The title of the book is Lessons for Young Boys from the Life of Mahatma Gandhi. The inspector plays a significant role in making Balram realize his exceptional talent. We come across such people very rarely. 
those who come into our life if they can point to some talent that we have we would be grateful just like that balram is grateful to the school inspector <laughs> next we have the driving instructor of balram the driving instructor is an old man in brown uniform and he is always found with smoking hookah he wants to know the cost of balram before teaching driving to him he dissuades balram as driving is good for people with aggression like muslims rajputs and sikhs he charges 300 rupees he doesn't want to reduce even 1 rupee from that finally he agrees to teach driving to balram at morning 6 am every day the driving instructor makes balram a free repair mechanic he gets 300 rupees he teaches uh, balram driving at the same time he uses balram as a repair mechanic he beats uh, balram whenever uh, balram makes mistakes while learning driving he makes him a driver and a man with an experience in the red light area this is some additional bonus that uh, the driving instructor gives to uh, balram he is instrumental in balram's moving up one step in the ladder of life so learning some skill always helps an individual to move a little further vitiligo lips is a driver in delhi he is a very kind driver who is afflicted with the skin disease he calls balram a country mouse and also makes balram very comfortable in delhi vitiligo lips tells balram about a magazine called murder weekly and offers to help him with the survival in delhi how to live in delhi balram doesn't know so he learns some tips on how to live in delhi vitiligo lips is often inquisitive and wants to know about balram's master but balram is very reticent he doesn't share some of the difficulties his master goes through he teaches balram about how to cheat his master he takes him to a hotel for a woman with golden hair and that's how balram is corrupted by vitiligo lips vitiligo lips also reveals the bleak life of a driver after one turns 50 now balram learns one more lesson all right he becomes a driver he earns some money as long as uh, he is young and uh, energetic and uh, he is uh, capable he can drive but after 50 when he cannot see properly then he will lose his job and this kind of insight about life the driver's life balram learns from vitiligo lips vitiligo lips also attempts to blackmail him in the presence of dharam about his spending money for a woman with golden hair there are two booksellers interesting booksellers in the novel the first bookseller we see near pvr saket when he is waiting the bookseller sits cross legged like a priest in charge of a mandala books are piled up in front of him he is a small man asking balram whether he reads english because balram is looking at some english books the bookseller is stumped by balram with the same question all right you ask me whether i can read books but you are selling books do you know how to read them and so the bookseller wants to know how balram learnt his english some broken english balram speaks so the bookseller wants to know how he learnt english the bookseller knows the books only by the cover even the title he can't read only by the pictures on the cover he knows he struggles hard when books are reprinted with new covers he would not know what kind of book it is when the new covers come up the bookseller believes that drivers are smart fellows he whispers to balram about the naxals supported by china so earlier at the beginning of the novel we find that uh, balram is writing the email to when jiabo the chinese prime minister and in the novel in the middle of the novel we have reference to china uh, supporting naxals in india so all kinds of politics international politics are now and then discussed in the novel we have the next uh, bookseller in uh, darya ganj he is a muslim he asks balram if uh, he would read urdu the bookseller reads a poem about the keys and the open door the door is always open why do you look for keys that is a kind of quotation we looked at in the first lecture the bookseller reads more poems and explains the true history or the beauty of poetry that's where we have additional dimension of beauty in the case of 
uh, Balram, learning about it and learning to become free and become a better human being. Vijay is the bus conductor in Lakshman Gar. He is a man with a uniform and a whistle. He moved up from the lowest of the low caste in uh, Bihar uh, from the caste of pig herds. So, he is a motivation for Balram and many others. Vijay is the first entrepreneur that Balram knew. He was actually Balram's childhood hero. Later, Vijay befriended a politician, the great socialist and moved up further in the social ladder. Later on when he became a politician, he wore polished shirt and suits. He had golden teeth fixed in his mouth and later when he comes to Delhi along with the great socialist, Vijay coerces Ashok to pay a bribes after winning the election. If he had lost the election, he would not be able to force Ashok to pay up the bribes. We see the real politician in the great socialist. He does not have any name. So, he is an unnamed politician from the India of darkness. He uses the symbol of hands breaking from oppressions. So, the symbol is one of giving freedom to suffering people. But actually, he is a corrupt man who rigs elections with the support of landlords and his followers. He supports enterprising young people like Vijay to get into politics. He also defeats the united front of the landlords in the elections. When the landlords unite and float a new party, the great socialist defeats them. When he wins the elections, he joins the national front and goes to Delhi as well. He humiliates the business people and extracts more money from them. He also visits Bangalore to address political rallies with all false promises to the people. Now, we move on to discuss the bureaucratic characters. Ramanathan is a fixer, a broker between business people and politicians. Mukesh needs such a fixer to solve the tax evasion case. Ashok understands him to be a sleazy and oily cretin, not a very dependable person. So, we can understand how Ramanathan corrupts Ashok to the brim, fully Ashok is corrupted by Ramanathan. It is Ramanathan who suggests having whiskey in the car, which Ashok never did before. He takes Ashok to a bungla, gets a Ukrainian girl and drops them in a hotel and pays for it too. When Ashok says he did not have enough money, Ramanathan pays for that uh, hotel arrangement. He would probably collect more money later from Ashok and his brother. We come to the last uh, bureaucratic character, the assistant commissioner. He is the police official in charge of a station in Bangalore city. He receives money from Balram and gets him the call taxi service fixed. To start a call taxi service in Bangalore is not easy without the support of the police. This commissioner regularly receives money from Balram and others to educate his sons in the US. He helps Balram after a driver called Muhammad Asif killed a cyclist. So, uh, we have a statement from the assistant commissioner. He sighed, see at the time of the accident, your brother's cycle had no working lights. That is illegal, you know. There are other things that will come out. I promise you, things will come out. This is what the assistant commissioner tells the brother of the victim killed by Muhammad Asif. So, money can change uh, truth or money can change people or money can protect uh, people who are rich. That is the whole idea. To summarize our discussions on characters and characterization in the novel The White Tiger, we have seen the main characters Balram Halwai the protagonist, Ashok the antagonist and Pinky Madam who is the wife of Ashok Sarma. Next we saw Balram's family members from his father, his brother, uh, his uh, grandmother and also cousin Dharam. Then we moved on to see the landlords in Lakshmangar, the star, the wild boar, the buffalo, the raven, the mongoose. These characters are identified by animal names to refer to their uh, not so human qualities. We also spend time on Balram's teachers right from the school teacher Krishna the school inspector, the driving inspector, Vitiligo Lips who helped uh, Balram to live in Delhi and the two booksellers who teach something about life and books to Balram. 
then we saw the political characters in the form of Vijay and the great socialist. Then we moved on to find uh, the bureaucratic characters Ramanathan, Mukeshan and the assistant commissioner. We have not spent time for city as characters particularly with reference to Dunbar, Delhi and Bangalore. We have to realize that in Dunbar, Balram listens to the miners and learns about the need for more drivers and when he comes to Delhi, he learns about a better way of life, tall towering buildings, a luxurious life, all that he is able to see and he yearns for living a better life. Particularly, he wants to have a golden haired women for himself and then when he kills Ashok Sharma, he escapes from Delhi to Bangalore. There he stays in a hotel and walks on the streets of Bangalore to listen to and that is where he learns about call taxi service required for safe driving of employees in IT companies. When he starts business, initially he has some difficulty but then by bribing the police, he is able to start his service and do a good service and then he also becomes somewhat a better person. There he says, in Bangalore, in the south, a person has a choice to be good. He chooses to be good, but for that he had to pay the price of killing his own master. Here are some references for you to understand the characters and characterization in the novel. If you read them, you can learn more about these characters and characterization in the novel The White Tiger by Arvind Adiga. Thank you.